Good afternoon, Facebook Church. Another happy day on planet Earth. It's St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. It's a Friday, 2 19 in the afternoon. And oh wow, it's 80 degrees outside. And I have to do paperwork upstairs. Oh well. Yesterday I got to go to the beach. I love that. Okay, so today is um, our devotional faith food devotions with Kenneth e. Hagen. And I'll have a link in the comments if you want to buy your own copy on Amazon for about 20 bucks. And today we're going to do part three. We uh, were reading about the woman in, in the Bible with the issue of blood that touched the hem of Jesus' garment and was healed. And Kenneth Hagin said there were four things the Lord had him write down. One, say it. Two, do it. Three, receive it, and four, tell it. So on March 15th, we did say it. March 16th, we did do it. Today on March 17th, we'll do receive it. And tomorrow on March 18th, we'll do tell it. So the scripture verse is Mark 5, 29 and 30. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And Kenneth Hagin goes on to say, Jesus knew that power had gone out of him. At that time, Jesus was the only representative of the Godhead at work upon the earth. He was anointed with the Holy Spirit, Acts 10.38. In that day, to get, to get to where the power was, you had to go where Jesus was. Today, the Holy Spirit in the person of the Godhead is at work upon the earth. He's everywhere present, and wherever the Holy Spirit is, there is power. Nuclear bombs release radioactivity into the atmosphere. A power can neither be seen nor felt, but a power that is both dangerous and deadly. However, there is a power working upon the earth this moment that is neither dangerous or nor deadly. A power that is good, that heals, and that sets men free. The power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said to me when he gave me these four steps, power is always present everywhere. Faith gives it action or puts it to work or uses it. This woman's faith caused the power to flow from Jesus into her. With our faith, we can plug into the power of God that is everywhere present. And we can put that power to work for us. So we have a repeat after me confession. I'll say it once and then I'll say it again so you can say it with me if you wish. I recognize that God's power is everywhere present. I recognize that God's power is everywhere present. And I know how to plug into that power. And I know how to plug into that power and put it to work for me, and put it to work for me. Faith is the plug. Faith is the plug. Wow, I just feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit on this. I feel like there's people watching who need a touch from God today. So Lord, we plug in our faith and we lay our hands on ourselves and we say, be healed, be free, be well, be blessed in our bodies right now in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit's with you and you're praying in faith, believing it's God's will to, to heal you. He loves you. He wants you well. So we receive it. We say it. I'm healed. We do it. We plug in and pray. And we receive it and we tell it and we tell it by saying 1st Peter 2 24 
by Jesus stripes, I was healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day in Jesus. Aloha. Mm.